Oh, I do hope she does her excellency. Of course, nothing compares to the magnificent and merciful Blue Diamond herself. <laughs> Ooh, Holly's got a crush on Blue Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> More like Holly blush agate. <laughs> yeah, right. I told you that if we went to the premiere, you'd have to behave. Ah, oh, relax, Halls. We're only joking. Besides, nothing wrong with looking, right? <laughs> Earth gems. Oh, this is so exciting. I haven't been to a movie in so long. I wonder who it is. Oh, Garnet, you have future vision. Do you know who the next gem is? No spoilers. <laughs> Fair enough. Where's Peridot? She's going to be late. Oh, you didn't hear, sis? She's the one hosting. You're kidding me. She's not even the favorite. Maybe not the content creator's favorite. But as for the viewers... Ugh, a cockroach. No, 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 wait, I... <laughs> uh, uh, Jasper? What? She startled me. With her face. Oh, good. Looks like I made it in time. There any seats left? Hey, Lapis, what's up? Sup, is this seat taken or... Oh, uh, I guess so, cause... Is this someone's gem? What? This? Nah. Looks like someone's bedazzling the seats again. It's all yours. Oh, that's convenient. Shh, it's starting. <clears throat> Greetings, friends, ladies and gems. This is Peridot speaking. I would like to thank you all for coming out tonight, or this morning, or whenever you're watching this. You're breaking the immersion. Uh, a as I was saying, tonight's show has been highly anticipated for quite a while, and many of you have already predicted the subject. Looks like we have a few sapphires in the audience, eh? No, that's Garnet. Thank you, Jasper. Ahem. Uh, so, without further ado, here's tonight's special video. White Diamond Captures You. I knew it! Last time on ASMR for Clods. Huh, you're that gem. More importantly, however, you have information on Rose Quartz. You come with me, human, to the zoo. It's what Pink would have wanted. There. Now you look ready to create a diamond. I want you to be safe and secure, which is why I took you from that ticking time bomb of a planet. You're more sympathetic than most of the recent Earthlings brought here. Do you know how much trouble you're in? I need you to go to Earth. It's the only place you'll be incognito. It represents authority. A... Uh, yeah. A diamond. I know why you've come here. You want me to help you become stronger. I really like spending time with you. Stop by again sometime, okay? I would say let's get properly acquainted, but I already know who you are. I care about you, and I haven't seen you in a really long time. Sorry, thought you were someone else. I don't recognize you, yet somehow we know each other. This beauty is a hundred percent pure, isn't it? I know what you're capable of, and I know you've conquered this before. Topaz. Did you see that? Was that a gem? A gem. 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 Oh, hello there. I'm so glad you're finally back to your physical form. And what an interesting outfit you've chosen. It looks like something Blue Pearl would dress you in. Ah. But does it matter now? Your presence is required. This will only take a moment. White Diamond will see you now. So, we've finally managed to catch the very troublesome gem. One of the few rebels to remain, yes? Well, I must admit, you offered an exciting chase. And for how long was it again? Several thousands of years or so. 
Impressive. Very impressive. So much has happened. One must wonder where your story even began. I knew from the very beginning you were different compared to other gems, to put it lightly. And to put it bluntly, disobedient, ill-mannered, and not very good at your job. Scolded by Yellow, you left Homeworld and fled to Earth. You joined the infamous Rose Courts and her rebellion. <laughs> How cute. But you were caught. You played the victim and persuaded your captors that you were working as a Diamond Authority spy. Rubies are so gullible, aren't they? Then you became an informant, returned to Homeworld so that you could report back to... <laughs> the Crystal Gems, right? However, your efforts were fruitless, because all this time I knew. I knew who you were and what games you were playing. I suppose that I let this go on for so long, because you were truly fascinating, and every time you got caught, you somehow found a way out. It must have been strange going to Earth and seeing so much change. Why did you go back in the first place, hmm? Were you hoping the rumors were true? Did you believe that your allies had somehow survived the blast? Well, yes. I'm sure you felt very guilty for being on Homeworld safe and sound, all while the rebels were being blasted to oblivion. Surely you were quite lonely when you realized what happened. Oh, but it wasn't such a sad tale, was it? After all, you discovered some leftover gems, yes? They were always with... A young boy. <laughs> yes, a young boy. You spent a lot of time with him. Was it because of the gem in his stomach? Was it because he was perhaps the notorious Big Bad Rose Quartz? But you never showed your face around the other crystal gems. I do wonder why. Perhaps it was the fear of being called a coward for running back to her world. Poor thing. Ah, uh, then what happened? After some time on Earth, you decided to return home, but you were caught during your travels, right? By a Jasper and a Peridot? It's such a shame you couldn't make it back to Homeworld because of the crash. Oh, but that didn't quite stop you, hmm? Because Blue found you, took you in, and then shipped you off to that little silly zoo, and then you found your way back here. See, I assumed that it was the end of the game, Blue and Yellow found out who you were and put you through a funny little trial with a funny little brown zircon. Unfortunately, the zircon caused tension between Blue and Yellow, allowing you time to go back to Earth. But she wanted you to stay there permanently. Ah, brown zircon. Her pearl has been missing for quite some time. Most likely afraid that I might purify her as well. Oh, but we aren't talking about the Zircon or the Pearl. We are talking about you. Yes, once you were back on Earth, safe and sound, hmm, the Peridot and Lapis Lazuli took you in. You became friends with them, along with the other crystal gems. Many silly adventures happened, and all the while, no one ever recognized you. You're quite the shapeshifter very skilled. But how many times have you changed your identity? At this point, even I am curious. Do you even know the real you? It must be so hard to live with so many lies, so many faces, so many identities. Poor Rose Quartz, as you call her, couldn't even handle two. Your mind must be a pile of mush, and no amount of meditation could heal that as if the fusion could have saved your mental state. No, you're far too weak. Your defectiveness is finally catching up to you. Yes, you thought you could save Rose Quartz from prosecution. You should have quit while you were ahead. You should have listened to the Zircon. Ah, but it isn't too late. You can still heed the Brown Zircon's legal advice. Here, I'll let you speak with her. Yes, my diamond, how may I serve you? Please give your client one last bit of advice. Yes, my diamond. You should give in to White Diamond's power. 
There is no need to resist. Everything will be just fine. She will fix you. Why, look at me. A fine example of a defected gem turned pure and perfect. Nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. Oh, thank you, White Diamond, for the adjustments. I feel so much better now. You're welcome. You may be dismissed now. Well, there you have it. You were just given spectacular advice from one of Homeworld's most eccentric Zircons. She did win the case of Tiger's Eye versus Jasper, you know. <laughs> there, there now. The time for struggle is far behind us. The time for true healing has just begun. Hey, hey, come on, wake up. Come on. Oh, oh, no, it's okay. It's okay, it's just me, it's just me, it's just me. It's just Brown Pearl. You're okay. Uh, you're back on the ship. Are you okay? Whoa, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Did everything go okay with White Diamond? Did you... Did you see Brown Zircon? Just before I woke you up, you seemed... You seemed like you were... You were gone. I got scared. As long as you're okay, though. You're confused about what's going on? What do you mean? This was your idea, wasn't it? Oh, no. White Diamond, she must have... She must have wiped your mind or something. Do you really not remember the plan? Well, well what do you remember? I'm going to explain this to you as best as I can, okay? I 
can't believe this happened. Well, of course I believe this happened. I knew it would happen, but I just, I wasn't really anticipating it to happen. We had one of our peridots build a machine that resembled the gem, and it would be able to be poofed into a gem. Well, lack its physical form in a sense. And we sent that there with your consciousness inside of it. White Diamond must have totally eliminated your consciousness from the machine. I wonder if she knows that it's not a real gem. In that case, we should probably be super worried. Because, um, if she entered your mind, then maybe she saw the plan. I don't know how likely that is, but you're here now and you're okay. Um with a little amnesia, but at least you remember who I am, and at least you remember anything else besides our plan, which is super inconvenient. But Brown Zircon, you said that she was in trouble. That's what I thought. Oh no. When White Diamond summoned her all that time ago, that was the last time I ever saw her, and now she's... She's just one of her puppets. On a positive note, I think that as long as she wasn't shattered, there'll be some way to maybe reverse it? I'm not sure. All I can say is that there might still be hope. Right now, however, we need to focus on getting to Earth. Um, you don't remember this, I'm sure, but our plan was to go to Earth while you were trying to figure out what happened with Brown Zircon. And, um, well, the engine's sort of maybe not working at all, and we're in the middle of space, um, alone, afraid, and whatnot. Uh, but don't worry. Um, we have one of our Peridots down in the engine room, uh, trying to fix it, and she's super smart. So, I'm thinking that it'll be fixed in no time. <laughs> I'm losing my shards down here. This is absolutely ridiculous. This machine refuses to work. Oh, come on, let's go! Oh, oh, wasting my time down here. Oh, oh, Kidding. Oh, what? Getting in the out of me? Oh, oh, let's go already! How many times do I have to kick you to make you work? Um, uh, you've been through a lot today. Maybe you should take, like, a real rest. Yeah, definitely. Uh, go ahead into the sleeping bay. We'll wake you up when we're close. If we ever get close, that is. No! I'm absolutely done with the farm. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go lay down and listen to the autonomous sensory meridian response speakers? Oh, yeah, they're totally quality. Absolutely, yeah. Go have a nice rest now. You deserve it. Nice work. Hopefully you get some of your memory back. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Oh, my stars. We're so doomed. If I could begin to be half of what you think of me i could do about anything i could even learn how to love when i see the way you act wondering when i'm coming back i could do about anything i could even learn how to love like you I always thought I might be bad now I'm sure that it's true Cause I think you're so good And I'm nothing like you Look at you go, I just adore you I wish that I knew What makes you think I'm so special If I could 
Begin to do something that is right by you. I would do about anything. I would even learn how to love when I see the way you look. Shaken by how long it took, I could do about anything. I could even learn how to love. love.